what we've got today. This is my, uh, well, I guess I could put brand side up, huh? So this is a uh, TC Pro uh, Gra Graco, Graco, great, great something, paint sprayer. And uh, so the story here of what occurred is uh, I was, you know, spraying along. It is cordless. It runs off the DeWalt 20 volt batteries. I was spraying along and I kept on getting spitting out of the tip. And uh, I'm like, what the heck's going on? This is like a $500, or $500 tool, whatever. And uh, my buddy was helping me troubleshoot. And he said, uh, you know, we were going through the troubleshooting thing. And he said, ah, did you uh, check the, the filter? And I said, filter? I don't think there, I don't think it came with a filter. And sure enough, he, uh, you know, rooted around in my bag and uh, found uh, what looked was clearly a filter. It's underneath here, I'll show you in a second. And I uh, said, oh, you mean this filter? Uh, to which I replied, uh, yeah. So I think what happened is I had some junk end up inside the pump here. So what we're gonna do for starters, this thing runs off a, this is the, uh, the uh, like antifreeze that you put in this thing to preserve it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try and purge as much out of the pump as we can. Cool, and we will just set that aside because we're gonna use it again once we uh, once we get everything apart. Let me get some paper towels to kind of, because there's going to be a whole bunch of that. So this is the filter that uh, was in question here, this little screen. Um, it just pops on, as you can see. And then there's some ports back in there to absorb or to suck up the paint. And then this is a return port here back into the container. Uh, basically, we're just taking this apart to see if there's any junk in the pump. Um, and if I need to order parts, I can get some parts on order. I'm primarily filming this just in case I screw something up. I can go back and review the, uh, the game footage and uh, see what I messed up. All right, so I did already have ooh, this guy apart and had this tip off. One thing I am gonna have to order is a new tip because I monkeyed it up getting it out. And there's got to be a, a some sort of face spanner something that's actually designed for removing that head. Eh. Yeah, what are the odds of me not losing that? Set that off to the side. Might be able to use a pair of uh, snap ring pliers. Yeah. So I'm going to have to replace this anyway. All right, and behind here, we've got a pin, which uh, faces on the orifice there. And uh, I guess as the pressure builds uh, behind here, the pressure kind of comes up around this pin and slides this guy back to allow the paint to come out. So as soon as you start stop uh, spraying, this basically kind of acts as a check valve. It pops forward and just keeps paint from dribbling out there. Cause I mean, this thing, when it's working great, it's fan freaking tastic. It's amazing. You can come right up to a corner, stop, let off the trigger, move up six inches, pull the trigger, and you get exactly the same spray pattern out of it. It's really a pretty incredible tool. Um, I mean, worth, worth every penny, worth every penny. All right, so let me set that aside as well. So this orifice might be clogged. Nope, or if it was, it's not anymore. But I'm gonna order a new one of these anyway. All right, so these are check valves of some sort. They don't appear to be clogged. There is some paint on them, not the end of the world. Until we get this pump completely apart, I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what's going on in here. I assume it's got to be some sort of two-stage pump to kind of maintain the pressure behind it. Another check valve. 
That moves freely. Ugh. Oh, that's better. Nice and clean. All right, we got uh, plenty of screws. All right. So this is the selector valve, uh, which basically allows you to uh, return to prime the pump. So it sends uh, paint uh, out of this hole. So it comes in this hole, then comes back out of this hole. And then when, once you bleed the pump out, then you can switch this and it will go out the nozzle. Is all that that does. Set that to the side as well. Yeah. Apparently that's how it comes apart. All right, uh, we've got these uh, self-tapping screws here, uh, clearly for plastic, because they're only chamfered on the one side. And you can see that they were relying on the screws to cut the holes based on the blue plastic that was uh, that's on there. So the screws did cut the holes. Uh, inside here, yeah, that's a Torx. Uh, maybe I'll take that apart. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we've got a motor. Uh, Ferris, uh, a uh, 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 Ferris, what do you call these? The thingamabobbers that are for reducing noise. Uh, it's one of those. Uh, Johnson Motor. I'll look that up and put the uh, put the specs uh, down below. Um, doesn't say made in China. Shocking. I believe this is a brushed DC motor. Um, I think I can see the commutator back in there. Uh, I don't really want to take this apart just because, uh, yeah, it ain't broke. I don't want to fix it till it is broke. I kind of I need this thing to work, so I got a lot of painting to do. Um, but uh, yeah, not much to say. Uh, completely steel body, got bearings supported front and back in the uh, in the motor housing itself, which is uh, pretty good design. It's a lot more robust than what you typically see in these tools, and plenty of support on either end in the mold as well. So not too bad. I ain't got I ain't got no complaints about that. Other than the fact that I can't get it back together. There we go. All right, so here we go to the, aha, a clue. So we've got a pinion gear running a bull gear here for uh, increase, uh, Decrease in torque, increase in torque. I'll just say both, and that way I can edit in the correct one. I'm having a brain fart at the moment. But we've got a three-stage pump, it would appear. So we've got a swash plate here uh, that, as you can see, turns each of the pistons individually. So, and we can actually see the pistons moving up and down in there. So now the question is, all right, and that's supported. Uh, we've got a little 608 shielded bearing, a little roller skate bearing holding everything. Uh, notice, do not rotate gear. Well, too late for that. Hmm, wonder what happens if you rotate the gear. I don't know offhand see why they would tell you not to do that. So that's gonna be pressed together. There is some junk down in the bore there. Let me grab a pick, see if we can get that out. Yeah, I don't really see any way that this is gonna come apart easily. Yeah, so that's probably not helping our case. All right, well, try as I might, I cannot find any more fasteners or anything. 
to get a part. I don't see any seals that I can service. Although that looks a little suspicious there. Let me see if I can get a proper wrench to fit across those flats. All right, broke it loose. Hopefully nothing goes spring and spring and off into the distance here. All right, so we got another check valve here. Uh, check valve with some ports. Don't see anything obstructing anything. I and mean, there's a little bit of paint on all these parts. What I may do, I've got some cleaning solution. I may just drop all these parts into some cleaning solution and let them sit and soak for a while. This looks like just an aluminum part. There is an O-ring. Doesn't appear that that O-ring was leaking. I don't see any, you know, maybe a little, no, nah, I think we're good. I don't see anything going past the O-ring, so that's not a problem. I'm gonna spray brake clean through it this way and see if it cleans it out at all. That, all those ports down in there are clear. I don't know if you can see that. So that is not the issue. I don't know if I adequately described what the issue was. So what was happening in the middle of the spray pattern, I was getting spitting, uh, which leads me to believe that it was not making adequate pressure um, to, uh, to get everything to, uh, to go. So uh, yeah, that could have been this little guy right here. If that were not allowing a ball to seat or something like that, and it looks to be... More than just dried paint. I think it's a little piece of sawdust. Um, that could definitely do it. Uh, it wouldn't take much to stop this pump. I mean, this is such a tiny little pump. I could easily see it gumming everything up. Yeah, unfortunately, I think this is going to be a pretty short video. I think that's uh, about all I can do, really. So we're going to leave this on the healing bench for now. And uh, I'll put it back together when I get home. I'm gonna go online and look and see if there's any replacement parts that I can get or, uh, you know, what I need to do. In the meantime, like I said, I'll probably let it just sit and soak in some uh, cleaning fluid of some sort. But uh, yeah, that's uh, about all I got. So thanks for watching.